to the man running the stand said hey got any grapes all right so we have uh we're gonna go on an adventure and so we need equipment we need to bring things with us that will help us on our adventure okay uh and here we have 10 different weapons that we might need to, uh, to kind of get, get the bad guys off of us to, to make sure the bad guys don't come, okay? So these are the 10 different names for the weapons we have here. And first we will fill in the ones that we know, and then I will describe the other ones for you, okay? So which ones of these do you know? What is this one, for example? Igor? Mm -hmm. Hmm? What is this thing? Mm, this is a uh, uh, job. This one? You don't know? How about this little one? Or how about how about this one? This one looks like something you might eat with. Uh, so if this one is one you would eat with, yeah, go ahead, Mac. Yeah. Hmm? So this one you might eat with. What are some things that you might eat with? You have a knife, a spoon, and a fork, right? Yeah. Uh, hello. Hello. Mac, Mac, you'll have to speak a little more clearly. You sound very muddled. I, I can't understand you. So try to speak a little more clearly. So this one, so this one looks like a fork that you would eat with. So this one is the pitchfork, mm. okay? Pitchfork. So I will write that down here. How about this first one? It's a small sword or what would we call that? Do you guys know the name for this one? Do you know the name for this? A bow and the arrow. Very no. good. So this one is a bow and arrow. Good. How about this one? Um, the bean gun. They do. They do. I, I, is it okay? Which one of these words is it up here? Mm. How about this one? It, it's sword. Yeah, this one is a sword. 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 Okay, good. So, sword. So we have this one. We have uh, the pitchfork. And we have the bow and arrows, right? So those are all done. Uh, Kirill, do you have the worksheet or no? Yes. Okay. So we're, we're going to go on an adventure together but we need some things, we need some vocabulary to understand what is happening. So do you know the name of any of these weapons? What is this one? It's, it is gun. Yeah, it's a gun, right? But it's an old, old, old gun. So we need to use a different word for it. And the word that we used to use a long time ago is aquabus. Aquabus. So this is an aquabus, this is bow and arrow, this is a sword, and then this one, as I said, looks like a fork that you would eat with, so it's a pitchfork. Uh, what is this one? You use it to chop wood? Battle axe. Right, so this one is a battle axe. Good. 
So, uh, and it's uh, something that we could chop wood with or go kill orcs with. Uh, do you know what this one is? No, it's no. my, my. So this, uh, this one here is very long and it has a point on it. And we call this one a spear, spear. Okay. Good. How about this one? A sickle. Yeah, it's a sickle, sickle, sickle. Good. And then how about this little sword? It uh, starts with a D. It's a dagger. Ah, dagger. Dagger. Okay. And these two look very similar, the two that are left over. Okay. One is a club and the other is a mace. So this one here is a club and it's just a big wooden thing that you could beat people with. Uh, and a mace is very heavy, it's made of metal. So there we go, those are all of our weapons. When we play the game, we can't buy all of these weapons. We can only buy the sickle or the dagger or the club, okay? So when we get to the game, you have to decide with me, do we want the dagger, the sickle or the club, okay? And here are different types of armor. Armor. So armor is something you put on to protect yourself, right? So what is what is this big piece of wood that you hold in front of you? Shield. Yeah, this one is a shield. Shield. Okay, good. How about this one? This first wizard robe. Yeah, it's a wizard robe. So it's just a piece of cloth that you put over you. But sometimes it has magical enchantment. So the magic, it makes your magic more powerful. Okay, good. How about this one? Leather armor. Yeah, this one is leather armor. Okay. What are some other things that are made out of leather that you might have? Shoes. A belt, maybe, uh, maybe a jacket. You have a leather jacket. What's the Russian word for leather? Korja. Korja? Let's look it up. Not Czech, Russian. There you go. There we go. So, um, yeah, so this is armor that is made out of leather. How about this one? Chain coif. A coif, a coif is just something that you put over your head. Okay. So if I look up chain coif, let's see what pops up for the images. There we go. So this is a chain coif because this, when you look at the when you look at the little pieces, they are like a chain, right? So this is a chain coif. So we'll go over here. And oh, sorry, what were you saying? This one is plate um, mine. Yeah. Plate mail, plate mail. And so these plates, these plates are very strong. Uh, they come together. Where else do you see the word plate? Plate is something that you also eat off of, right? So let's look, these are plates, right? And so you can think of this plate mail, oops. Uh, there we go. So you can see this plate mail. Right. It's very strong armor, right? It's made of uh, these plates. Okay, good. So we got all of the armor. Uh, 
Uh, let's look at the monsters. Which ones of these monsters do you know? First goblin. Okay, the first one is a goblin. Good. Is it right? It's a dragon. This one yeah. is a kobold. A kobold. Uh, it's a green. Uh, it's a green dragon. Yeah, the this yellow one here is a dragon, right? Yeah. So this one is definitely a dragon. This one is a kobold, which is a lizard, kind of a lizard. Uh, right? Okay. Yes. Good. Uh, uh, the skeleton is uh, uh, down the goblin. Okay. okay, underneath the goblin is a skeleton. Good. All right, what else do we know? This one is an old lady that casts spells at you. Witch. Yeah, this one is a witch. Witch. Good. Good. Uh, let's see. This one is a big, short man who lives underground. Or elf. Uh, it's a dwarf. A dwarf. Mm -hmm. a dwarf. Okay. This lady here, she has long, pointed ears. She's like uh, Legolas. Do you know Legolas from from uh, Lord of the Rings? Legolas shoots the bow and arrow. You don't know him? I'll, I'll pull up a picture. I think. Mm, here we go. That's Legolas. You know him, right? You've seen this movie? Uh, Lord of the Rings. So she is an elf. So your elf is over here. Okay. Let's see who's left. We have um, Medusa. Medusa. We have Orc and we have Zombie. So which one is Medusa? Medusa. Which the seventh picture? The seventh picture. Okay. So Medusa is a snake lady. She has snakes for hair. And she has a snake body. So this is Medusa. Good. So which one is a zombie and which one is an orc? Yes. Wh which one is which? Mac, which one is the zombie? It's, um, zombie. This one here? Yeah. OK, this one here is a zombie. So a zombie is a dead person uh, that is trying to eat your brains, right? And then this would be an orc, a big green guy, right? And he, all he wants to do is beat you up. Right? Which one is the scariest? Which one do you think is the strongest? Igor, which one do you think is the strongest? The strongest. Uh, it's a dragon. The dragon? Okay. Mac, which one do you think is the strongest or the scariest? Uh, which one? You don't know? No. No? Okay. Uh, Kirill, which one do you think is the strongest? Uh, the dwarf. The dwarf. Okay. Good. Okay. So these are these are enemies that we might see on our adventure together. Okay. And these are treasures. Which one is which? What is this first one? Spell book. Yeah, it's a spell book, right? What is the second one here? A ring. A ring. Good. What is this third one here? Chest. Yeah, it's a chest full of gold. How about this Mag one? Mag Magic wand. Yeah, Magic one. wand and the goblet. Yeah, and then a goblet. 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 Good. 
Okay, so these are a lot of words. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to work with them, okay? So there goes Legolas by Legolas. Let me close this actually. It's probably using a lot of memory. And let me save and close this. So we're going to try this game here, okay? And in this game, in this game, we have to make choices. We have to decide, will we do this or will we do this? And you have to help me make the decisions, okay? So let's make a new game. Maybe you can't see this, so I'll put this over here. This is our character, okay? So maybe we should change his skin color. How about that skin color? That's pretty good, right? Yes. And then his hair, should he have long hair? Or should he have no. sh short hair? Should he have hair like this? Or maybe a little ponytail on the back? Short hair like that? What kind of hair? Maybe a mohawk like this? Do you guys like this? No. No? Okay, how about no hair? <laughs> how about that, just normal hair, okay? Should we have a beard or no beard? No. No. No beard? Okay. Uh, no mustache, no nothing. Look at those cool beards you can have though. What color hair should we have? We can have orange, yeah. brown, blue. Black. 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 So we'll have black hair. There we go. So that's us. Now, do we want to be strong or do we want to be smart so that we can use magic? Or do we want to be very um, quick so that we can hide from things? Strong. Okay, so we'll go to this here. And we have strong, strong, smart, or uh, quick. And Kirill says strong. What do you say, Mac? Should we be strong, smart, or quick? Strong. Strong, okay. Igor, do you want to be strong, smart, or quick? Smart. Smart, okay. And so we have two votes from for being strong and one vote for being smart. So we will be strong, okay? So I will put the thing here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. So we're going on our adventure. This is the... Oops. Uh, I have to turn the volume. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, maybe I can turn this way down. Okay. So you can hear it a little bit, but not so much. Okay, so here we are, and there are quests. There are things that need to be done, okay? Can you guys read this, or you can't read it? It says, I, Jean Bo, druid of the Circle of the Woodland Keepers, invoke the help of an adventurer to recover information regarding the recent barbaric and inconsiderate poisoning of the waters of this earth. So a druid wants us to find out why the water is poisoned. So there's water and someone is putting poison in it, okay? That's one quest we can do. Here's a second quest. To all adventurers, a child is missing from the small village in the hills. The Tricked Witch Fellowship is ready to give a reward in gold to whoever finds the child and gives information about his vanishing. 
So a kid is gone and we have to go find this kid. Okay. That's quest number two. Quest number three, we have a goblin invasion. An, an enraged goblin horde has come from the Western woods and they have been going around that area for a while and then occupied a village, forcing everybody to leave. Their great number prevents us from pushing them back. So we are looking for a hero that can convince them to leave. So there's a lot of goblins. And it sounds like there are many, many of them. So they're very dangerous, okay? Uh, and that one will give us a lot of gold. So those are the three quests we can go on. Before we go on our quest though, let's get some, let's get some equipment. Let's get a weapon and some armor. Sound good? Okay, so these are our weapons. We have 100 gold and the pitchfork is too much money. We can't afford it, but we can afford a club, a sickle, or a dagger. Which one should we buy? Let me go back to this. Yeah, Igor? Yeah, club. Club. Igor says the club. We have a sickle. Dagger. Mac, what do you which one do you want to buy? Dagger. The dagger? Okay. And Kirill, which one do you want to buy? Club. The club. Okay. So here we go. Two to one, we will buy the club. Okay. When we get more money, we'll buy the dagger. Okay, Mac? So let's buy this. Good. Now we can get some armor. Should we get some padded armor? It looks almost like leather armor. Should we get a robe or should we get a suit? Get your ass side. Uh, okay. side. So there's the padded armor, there's the robe, and there's the suit. And I will show you them one more time. Padded armor, robe, and suit. It is suit. Okay, so Igor wants the suit. Suit. Matt, which one do you suit. want? Okay, suit. Okay. Huh? Robe. You want the robe? Okay. All right, so two to one, we're gonna get the suit. Okay. Buy the suit. Now, should we buy anything to drink? There's some ale, there's some wine. No. Pirate, no, okay. The rings are too expensive, you cannot buy them, okay? So that's everything. Here we go, so this is what we look like. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, maybe, okay. So now we have to decide which quest we want to go on, okay? If you remember the quests, there is the poisoned water. There is the missing child. And there is the quest to kill the goblins or at least get them to move away. Okay. So which, which adventure do you want to go on? Get out. Goblins. Okay, you want to go try to kill the goblins. They're very strong. They're very strong. Okay, Matt? Uh, uh, goblins. Okay, you want to do the goblins? Igor, do you want to go kill some goblins? Mm. Goblins. Okay, so we are unanimous. We're going to go kill some goblins. Good. Uh, there we go. Here we go. Goblin invasion. Okay. So an enraged goblin horde, a bunch of a bunch of goblins, have come to the west. But we're gonna go try and beat them. Okay. Let's go see what happens. So here we go to the next village over. 
But now we have to make some choices, okay? Let's see. You are on a journey to the village occupied by goblins. You think about how to introduce yourself when you get there. It's a certain, it is certain you cannot kill them by yourself, okay? So we need some help. We can't kill all of these goblins by ourselves. On the way, you meet a small goblin with big floppy bag on his shoulder. You both stop about 10 meters apart and stare at each other for a while. So you're staring at the goblin and the goblin is staring at you. His face looks familiar. Maybe you know him. But as you know, all goblins look alike. He waves goodbye at you. He seems friendly. Should we ask him about the other goblins? Or should we just wave at him and leave? Okay, so here we have two choices and you have to help me make the choice. Okay, should we ask him questions? Or should we wave and leave? Hey, uh, how about those other goblins? Or, bye, see you later. Okay. What do you want to do? Wave and leave. Wave and leave. Okay, Igor is like, of course, get rid of that guy. Ask him questions. Okay, ask, ask him. him. Ask him questions. Okay, ask him questions. Okay, so we have a uh, two to one, ask him questions. So we will ask him, do you know anything about that weird claim? Okay, so we ask him a question. The goblin says the shaman, do you guys know what a shaman is? Shaman? It's like a wizard. Do you know what a wizard is? Yes. Okay, so the shaman has taken control of the village and soon will rule the whole realm. He says the shaman has extraordinary powers and no one can go against him. But goblins are pretty cocky race. You don't take this information too seriously and you look at the goblin as he leaves. In any case, a pretty strange guy. Okay. So the leader of the goblins is a wizard goblin. Okay. We have to be careful. Okay. So you get we get back on our way and we're walking to the village and we bump into a hound squad. Do you guys know what hounds are? They're dogs. So these guys have dogs with them. They advise you to go back. You tell them you are an adventurer who has come to help with the matter. The small group doesn't quite believe you. I don't think this guy is here to help us. As soon as you glimpse, as soon as you look in the fields in the distance, you see some goblins and they are armed with spears. Do you guys remember spear? What is a spear? Yes. Okay, so these goblins have spears and they are running in your direction. They must be village guards. The, uh, an unfriendly fat goblin asks you, who are you? What do you want here? So there's a big fat goblin and he says, what do you want here? Do we say that we are an ambassador? That we want to talk to the shaman? Do we say that we're a mercenary? Do you guys know what a mercenary is? Do you know this word mercenary? No. No? Let's look it up. Mercenary. You answer hmm? that you are a rich man and you want to often. Uh, yeah. Oh, my computer's dying. Probably won't do this again. Let's see. Mercenary. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
Nayamnik, yeah? Nayamnik. Nayamnik. Do you know this word? Yes. Nayamnik. Okay. So do we say that we are one of these? Nayamnik. Or do we say that we are an ambassador? Posol. Do you know this word? Posol? Posol, Nayamnik posol. Okay. So, which one do you want to say? Or do you want to say that we are a very wise man? Let's go here. So, ambassador or a mercenary or a wise man. What should we tell this goblin? This goblin has a spear, and he's going to hit us with his spear. Mercenary. You want to say mercenary? Okay, good. Matt? Um, ambassador. Ambassador. Okay. Get out. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Should we flip a coin? Let's go with mercenary, okay? So we're gonna say that we're a mercenary and we're looking for a job. Okay. The goblin looks at you and from his expression, he sees he seems to be focusing a lot, trying to understand with his little brain your words. You don't look like what you say you are, but the shaman will know for sure. He immediately orders two guards to escort you through the village while he reports to the shaman. Take him to the shack and keep an eye on him, orders the fat car as he leaves. So we're, we're being escorted, we're being taken. What will happen? The guards take you to the village square. On the way, you see hundreds of goblins, hundreds. Do you know this word, hundreds? Yes. One hundred, two hundred. That's how many goblins there are. So we can't fight. If we fight, we will get killed, okay? Uh, on the way, you see hundreds of goblins. They're everywhere, in houses, the streets, the fields. Many of them are armed, but others are not. So some of them have weapons. Some of them have spears and some of them have clubs. You also see females and children. This really is an entire clan. You see a mill with odd pictures painted on the walls surrounded by rough tents. That must be where the shaman lives. You meet the village uh, people, often followed by goblins pushing them to move and work with their spears and sticks. They cry for help, but the little guards always hush them quickly. You get to your destination, a small shack made of thin trunks. You enter and wait. Now, we are in, we are in a jail, right? So they put us in jail. Should we wait for the fat goblin to come back? Should we ask information? Or should we try to beat up the guards? We have three choices. We can wait. Oops, sorry. Wait. We can ask questions. Or we can beat up the guards or fight the guards. Okay. So we're in jail. We're waiting. What do you want to do next? Awesome. Okay. Uh, Kirill says he wants to ask about the shaman. Uh, hmm? You want to ask as well? About the shaman. Okay, ask about the shaman. Igor, do you want to ask as well? We're going to ask it. Mm. Ask about the shaman. Okay, so we're here to get rid of the shaman, so let's ask about the shaman. So one of the guards is talking to us now. He says, 
Shaman have great power. He used magic. Crash all enemies of goblins. This is one of the the whole clan serves to worship him due to his magical knowledge. Uh, they believe this is enough to protect them and guarantee victory. It has worked up until this moment since they managed to take the entire village. You have never heard about such a big endeavor. Okay, should we, now we can wait or we can try to beat up the two guards. So this one is done. Do we wait or do we fight the guards? Fight. You want to fight, kiddo? Yes. Okay. Mac, what do you want to do? Do you want to fight or do you want to just wait? Fight the guards. You want to fight the guards? Okay. Igor, do you want to fight the guards? Wait. You want to wait? Okay. I think waiting might be the better choice here because there are so many goblins, right? We're probably going to get killed. But let's try it. Let's try to fight them, okay? Ugh. Okay. The two guards keep staring at you. You, uh, you really want to get out of there, though. So you throw yourself onto one of the little creatures, hitting him as hard as you can with your fists. Meanwhile, the other guard tries to stick you with his spear. You, are, you partially avoid and you get hit in your side. You grab the spear and drag the goblin uh, to you and knock him down with a punch. You stand listening for a while. It seems nobody outside noticed anything. You cautiously get out of the shack and go to the mill. Okay? So you can see we got hit in the side and it hurt us. So we have less hit points, but we beat up the gardens, okay? And now we're going to the mill. You try to avoid all of the goblins on the way. You finally reach the mill and you take cover, you hide. And you peek from around the corner of a house. There are two guards in front of the mill. You don't see any more goblins, but there must be more inside, though not too many. Do we fight the goblins or do we approach very peacefully? Do we walk up to them or do we fight them? So fight the guards or walk peacefully. Walk peacefully. Okay, Igor says walk peacefully. Mac and Yeah, walk peacefully. 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 Yeah, peacefully. All right. Good. Walk peacefully. Walk peacefully. Okay, good. So we will walk up peacefully. Everybody's calm. Okay. You approach the goblins in a friendly manner, saying you are here to see the shaman. You tell them you are an ambassador from a nearby town and you're bringing the leader an interesting proposal. So you want to ask the shaman a question. The two guards are threatening. They must not have understood what you are talking about, but it is certain they do not appreciate your conversation. They step closer and you could do nothing but fight. So we have to fight anyway, okay? Okay, the goblins are ready to fight us. Hard push. Do I get them? No. Should we attack or run away? Run away. Attack. 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 Okay. attack. Run away. Attack. Run away. Igor says run away. Mac and Kirill say attack. Attack. All right, so we're going to see Igor was actually the smarter one here because there are two of them and one of us, okay? So I will attack. And you see he swings with the club and the goblins are badly wounded, but we only have one hit point left, okay? Should we attack again or should we run away? Attack. Okay, attack, Igor. 
Run away. Run away. <laughs> Run away. Okay, two to one. We try to attack, but they are too much for us. Uphold. And they killed us. Eh. All right. So, what was our name? Yegmak. Yerel. All right. So, we died. Sorry for us. Igor was the smart one. Igor wanted to run away, and you guys made fun of him. But he was, he was right. You should run away from fights if, if it's too much. Okay. Um, how did you like this game? Is it boring? Mm, no. Is, no. It, is it difficult to understand? So-so. Mm, So-so. Okay. Okay. You can play this game if you have Steam. If you have Steam, you can play this game for free. Uh, Steam is uh, this here. Do you guys have Steam or no? No. No? Okay. So if you get Steam, uh, this game is called Just One Line. I'll close it because it's killing my computer. Uh, just One Line. And you can see it's completely free. So if you get Steam, you can play it and you can try it. But you have to read a lot of English. And I'll, some of the English is very difficult to understand. Okay. So be careful. All right. Um, maybe uh, if you like this kind of game where we all decide together, then maybe we can we can play a game like this, but maybe something a little easier. How about that? Yeah. Do you yeah. want to, do you want to play something easier? Okay. Our time this week is done though, so uh, we don't have any more time this week. Uh, do you guys have any questions? No. No. no? Okay. Um, oops. Okay. So you guys know all of this new vocabulary, right? Mm -hmm. Are you going to memorize it? Are you going to remember all of those words? Sword, spear? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, what is your favorite treasure or what is your favorite weapon? Uh, Mac, do you have a favorite Monster? Do you remember the monsters we were? No? No. No? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, which monster is your favorite? Uh, which one? No. Co the dwarf, okay. Dwarves are pretty cool. Okay, good. Igor, which one is your favorite monster? The dragon. The dragon, okay. You like dragons a lot. And then Karel, which one do you like the most? Dwarf. The dwarf. Both of you like dwarves, okay. Um, and then let's see, which, which weapon is the coolest? Which weapon do you like the most? Get out. Where Aquabus. No, Aquabus. Okay. You like shooting. Yeah, like, like Fortnite, right? Like Fortnite. Okay. Yeah, good. And then Igor, which weapon is your favorite? The gun. The gun, okay, the aqua. And the bow and arrows. Yeah, the bow and arrow, it could be, could be quite fun. Okay, good. So um, if you ever want to play these kinds of games, you have to know all of this vocabulary, you have to know all of these words, right? Uh, what do you think is, is better, to be a wizard with a spell book and a wand? Or to be a warrior with a sword and a shield. 
which one is better for uh, it? Shop, so. The sword and shield? Yes. Ah, especially. Yeah, the sword and shield. Uh, does do any of you think that it's better to have a book and a and a wand and use magic? No, that sounds boring. It's almost like shooting, right? A magic wand is almost like shooting, like Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Okay, so that's uh, that's going to be it for this week. Thank you for coming for this lesson. I will see all of you next week, okay? Yes, thank you. All right, bye everybody. Bye, bye. Goodbye. Bye.